Normally a memorial will be held at the intersection of Dwight and Nile streets there in North Park at the time of the crash. However, because of COVID-19, that is preventing that from happening in person. So in order to commemorate the anniversary of PSA Flight 182, the head of the history department at Grossmont College held an online ceremony to discuss the, the tragedy and the ongoing campaign for an official memorial at the site of the crash to honor the victims. Joining us now to talk more about that online commemoration is Grossmont College history professor Marty Ennis. We have former member of PSA management Fred Hall and also the sister of a victim of Flight 182, Myra Pulowski. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to see all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Professor, let me just start with you. What should people remember about crash uh, the crash 42 years ago? What did you say during the, the ceremony today? Well, I think it's important for people to understand that history is more than just something you read in a textbook, that living in the San Diego community, this is a major event, a major historical event, but this is also a very San Diego story. PSA was San Diego's hometown airline. The plane crashed into North Park, which is a San Diego neighborhood. And first responders from the San Diego Police Department and San Diego Fire Department responded to this. A local high school, uh, St. Augustine, uh, or St. Augustine, uh, the gymnasium had to be used as a makeshift morgue. So uh, this event really had a major impact on San Diego and there are still many people today who are still suffering from what happened 42 years ago and it needs to be remembered. And I know you've been fighting for an official memorial. I mean, it's been 42 years. What's been happening with that? Well, uh, there's a PSA uh, 182 Memorial Committee. Uh, I am a very small part of this effort. There are people who are so dedicated to this and they've been trying to get a memorial uh, to this located somewhere within the vicinity uh, of the crash site, but it is a residential neighborhood. And I was thinking today after uh, my uh, lecture and event that we really need to see uh, the, the mayor and the city council of San Diego step up and put together a task force uh, and work with the community and work with the PSA 182 Memorial Committee and, and find a location that is acceptable so that uh, an appropriate memorial to this can be built within the vicinity of the crash site. And at the moment, that does not exist. Mm. Myra, you unfortunately lost your brother on this day 42 years ago. What are you thinking today as you look back? Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's 42 years. It's just too long now before uh, being able to get a permanent memorial. Um, I went out there this morning with a few of our memorial committee members at uh, five o'clock this morning to write our, the names of all of the victims in chalk on the sidewalk. And we continue to do that until we get a permanent memorial. We think it's very possible to do that. Uh, and I think it's time, you know, uh, my brother who's uh, behind me here on the, in the photograph, um, you know, it, I need to honor him. And so do the other 144 uh, victims' families. I would imagine you were young when it happened. What are your memories about uh, you and your brother just playing, I would imagine, and doing fun things? Yeah, you know, we were actually um, orphaned when I was five months old. Uh, and so we were raised by our grandparents and it was really pretty much Michael and I until he uh, died when he was 18 and I was 17. Well, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, we appreciate you being on and sharing some of those memories. Um, Fred, I want to talk to you a little bit about it. Uh, what are you thinking as you look back on the crash? Well, I was with PSA when that happened. Um, I was at the crash scene when the airplane was still burning. So there's a lot of really tragic memories. But the PSA family has come together and we support Myra and support the memorial and we all gather uh, at the crash site at Dwight and Nile every year, all those who can. So a lot of people come from out of town, out of state, who remember that day and, and had people who died there. Yeah, so, it's my understanding. It looked like just a complete war zone. I mean, nine people on the street were killed, seven people in homes. You have the two planes that crashed into each other. We've showed some video, just a horrific sight. So we would we would like to support uh, Myra and the uh, 
the committee to, uh, to, I think we have the funds and we have the plaque. We just need a place to put it and uh, whatever we can do through our city government to make that happen, we would stand behind Myra and the group. Myra, you're nodding your head. Yeah, it, it, it seems like a simple request. Yeah, you know, we actually had a bronze plaque made. It's the exact replica of what's in the San Diego Air and Space Museum. That is a section of the museum that's dedicated to the PSA and more, uh, uh, event. And uh, so it's not, it's, it's very tasteful. It has the names of all of the victims. It can be, uh, it can be placed very tastefully at the corner of White and Nile, which is where we'd like to have it done. And we think we'd like to be, we'd like to be able to do, to do that this year. And Professor, what are the odds of that happening? What do you think? Well, I hosted an event, I hosted an event at Grossmont College to acknowledge the 40th anniversary of this uh, tragedy. And here we are two years later, and uh, it just, this is something that needs to move forward. Uh, it, people gather every year and pour their hearts out in grief over what they suffered and lost and experienced. And uh, to be doing this year after year and still there's no permanent memorial in the vicinity of the crash is just not acceptable. And I, I, I said to Myra, I don't want to be doing a lecture and a presentation about this subject and to commemorate the 50th anniversary of this incident without there being any memorial. So I hope that the mayor and the city council are listening and that they will uh, use their authority to try to move this forward because it's been long enough. Yeah, it sure has. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Marty, Fred, Myra, wish you all the best. We hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for sharing some thoughts about this uh, tragic crash. Well, thank you.